Okay, welcome back to part seven of the uh, E-Models build, which is the uh, FX Grumman F6F5 Hellcat in 124 scale. This is the second part we're doing for the engine, as in the first part, uh, which is part six, we got this far with the build. The only other bits I didn't show on that one were just fit fitting these four bits on the front, which are simply just glued on. Nothing too technical with those. So in this part, we're going to be doing the rest of the exhausts, which all fit in the back of the engine. Um, so these all want good enough cleaning up the uh, same lines, which weren't as bad as the, the other one. Um, and gluing together, they're all coming two parts. But this will need uh, a bit of filling and uh, filing, so we'll work on that. So I've got three off already, uh, so we're we'll working through building up some more of those. So attention this part is trying to get, see how far we can get. So see it's building up all the uh, exhaust and surrounds for the engine. This is something I noticed before, you could have the uh, engine as a separate stand. So you just use this part rather than the part where it's attached for the full, full ring. But I think I'll go for this workshop on there. So we'll, uh, we'll work through, see how far we get. Um, so I'll see you in the next bit uh, when we've done a, a few more of these. Right, just so I'll give you a quick update, see where we're up to. So we're making uh, lots of little bits that go around the engine. And uh, the exhausts, as I filed them back a bit, and on all of them, there's a tiny little uh, cracks. I've used some uh, sprue goo, which basically an old time you bottle with uh, cut a bits of sprue in there, let it dissolve, and uh, it's a very good filler because basically it's uh, plastic. You just dab a little bit into the gap, uh, let the glue de uh, evaporate, which does take a while, so doing, doing it probably leave it overnight is your best bet, which I've done with these, and then file it off just normal, and it should fill the gap with uh, plastic which then shouldn't shrink. So just showing you a couple there, but they've all got a little bit of a gap so I've uh, done that this on all of them. And we've got about various uh, air intakes and things that run around the uh, the back of the engine. I can make this one up, they've got another one of these to do. And these bits and bobs all go around this part which fits on the back of the engine. like so and uh, so I'll give you an update see where we are so so a few more bits and bobs to do so another one of these just basically all that and uh, fits around the engine again another air intake off Basically fits the boxes together. There's a fuel tank which fits on the struts at the back. A little bit of a sport. Okay, again another air intake that fits on the bottom of the engine. And then the part that covers around the front is done. And then that will be, because it just phrase you back to the bulkhead after that, that should be the main part of the engine done. So it'll look like a lot, but uh, it's not a huge number of parts. So I'm going to get uh, all the little sub assemblies uh, done, get them all primed up, and then we'll come back and have a look at uh, what gets painted, which, which colours. Okay, back in a sec. Well, we've got uh, all the parts uh, for the rest of the engine painted up. So we've got the uh, rest of the exhausts done in the gun metal. And lots of green parts. A couple of these need a bit of painting and detailing them. And we've got lots of black parts on here and right front of the plane in the blue. And we don't bring everything 
some aluminium tubing. So what I've done is fitted this ring around the engine. So these sprut sticking out, I mean these will attach to front of the paint, so it's like that. So they go in these grooves. So we'll have a look at that later. Uh, but this fits into the spikes that are on the back on there. Uh, we may start on fitting the exhausts through. They're all very snug. And so I've built these up, put them together, glued them and everything, but I've uh, no idea which one's which. Um, basically there's two sets of the left and the right handed version of them. So uh, a little bit of trial and error, we'll, uh, we'll get them fitted. So I've started off with these two. As you can see, they go through, this one here attaches to the back, couple of the ports on the back cylinder and the one on the, so I got it on the left, goes through to a couple of ports on the front cylinders. So we'll be building up. I mean, for example, this left-handed white versions of these will go and be up here and when we're finished. So we'll work around the engine. I'll try to find it filming it, but uh, it is a bit fiddly and uh, we'll be sort of doing this sort of thing. Um, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can show. And if it's any good, we'll make the final edit. If not, um, We'll all of a sudden have lots of uh, radiators. And once they're in, I'll be giving them a bit of a weather with the uh, pigment uh, track rust, just so they uh, blend a little bit more with the uh, the, the exhaust we already fitted on there. So uh, we'll crack on. So with the instruction booklet, we've done that. Fitted this one. Into that there and put the end on to keep them together. So that's where we are. So I've actually done it on the opposite side. So I'll do this one. Anyway, as I say, there's the blue matching. Turn the side will be here and then so on around the, uh, the engine. Okay, so I'll uh, just pause there. I'll, uh, I got fit in some bits and pieces. If it works, you'll get to see it in the next clip. Okay, so I've uh, fitted a couple more on. So for this one, which goes through, attaches to these two points here. And with the wiring and everything in there, it's very tight fit, so It has actually scraped off some of the, the paint. Let me see where the other one is. Where is it? Lost you. On the one there. On the one there. So through here. So enough to do a little bit of touching it when it's uh, when it's finished. So uh, let's just see if I can show you one of the simple ones, which is this bit here, which. Check. Yeah, fits into this hole here and this one here. So it's like so, and then lines up with that. And in a sec, once I've got it in, we then put one of those in. So the other side. And the one in the middle has a short piece like this. Is that this one or the other one? So a blob of extra thin in the hole. So 
which uh, two holes you're going for. So it lines up. So the same rotation on there. Groups to groups. Come on, if I'm fitting, I'm going to try fit again. Make sure they're all set straight to this side so the spacing here is correct. Okay, so you get the idea. So uh, I'm going to pause it there while I add a bit again. It seems to be a bit fiddly. But yeah, basically just find the right bit, fill it into the holes. As I said, the ones that go through the front cylinders are very snug through here and here well, the ones that fit in the ones at the back are quite easy that's the opposite side because these are well and truly gripped these are, can be a bit loose so as I say, I'll pause there I'll fiddle this bit and then we'll come back and see if we can show you fitting something else well that's all the uh, exhausts in um, as I said in the previous clip varying degrees of uh, trickiness. Uh, what I found is um, doing the copper wire so it makes it uh, look better around the front but it does make it a bit tricky around the back so quite often the uh, the wire maybe it's this way I did it um, but I did follow the instructions it just seems to be in the way uh, a few times but uh, they're in um, I'm just going to leave them to dry properly because I glued them all into the uh, into little holes and things and uh, put these at the end it's quite good for keeping them in the right orientation uh, once they've dried uh, so there is a little bit of touching up to do on a few of them and then I'll give them a bit of a dusting with the uh, pigment Okay, so uh, still lots and lots more to, to do with the engine, but it's uh, come along nicely. Yeah, that's over. Okay, so uh, let's so let that dry and we'll come back and do uh, a bit more in the next bit. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, you can see we've uh, moved on a bit. Um, didn't, uh, I've not found these bits because they were a bit, uh, a bit fiddly. Um, I suppose what I did first fit this part in, which is okay, and it fit into the, I don't know if you can see, into the little recesses on the first ring that went on the centre bit, which you can see in the uh, previous part. And uh, then this loop fit on. This is the fiddly bit, it had to keep coming in and out, taking it on and off, so it did fit in snugly along the top here um, and then when you've got that fitted snugly in this 
bit here. Uh, I mean, I didn't couldn't take it sort of fiddle into there and then into the uh, groove at the bottom, at the top of the engine, should I say, in here. So basically, what I ended up doing was cutting the uh, the lug off the bottom of that, so it's fitted into the top bit, but uh, not attached to the bottom, the main center center of the engine. Um, the easy bits, which I could have shown you, uh, was these putting these struts in because basically they're just on a semicircle and meet here. Um, so just put that strong glue in there uh, and they fit in fine. So that shows where we're up to at the moment. And I have put a dusting of the tank rust pig pigment on the exhaust we fit, fitted just before. And a little bit of uh, panel line washes and uh, little bits and pieces in. So what we'll do now is move on to put in some of the um, ducting uh, air intakes. So it starts off with this part, fits to the bottom of the engine here, and then you work it around, um, fitting in. Uh, There's a point to, to have a look at. So we need to make sure is this bit I put in first is at a right angle. Easier way to make that out is the exhausts just run on the edge off there. And you can see this side is ever so slightly out. But I think looking at it, I've done a test fit on these parts, it should squeeze it back in and this side is bob on. So uh, we'll start off with fitting this part to the bottom of the uh, engine. From the diagram, it'll go in that way around. I tend to stretch that up. I'll see what uh, what shows. I don't think I will actually because there's uh, this bit Mario's up to it, so you won't be able to see in it. Anyway, we'll see. So you can see we have a rectangle and an oval hole, and they match up. Snug. What we'll do is we'll uh, wait from the back. There we go. It's all down snug. So then we move on to this part which drops down over the top of there. Okay, as you can see, we've uh, got that ducked in on and uh, it wasn't easy, uh, that's why I've uh, not filmed it, because basically it was several minutes of fiddling around with tweezers and things trying to get it in the right orientation. Because basically what you need to do to get it over is actually squeeze these two legs together a bit and it pops over. Then it's get it to sit on here and here. It wasn't easy, so as I say, just take a bit of uh, twiddling and fiddling and you get it into the, uh, the correct hole. Um, speaking of which, if you can find it. It's only a little thing, but uh, if you look at the instructions, it does say it goes to the oval hole. It's not, it's obviously the, uh, the rectangle one that fits the rectangle edge on there. Um, so what else have we done? I've also fitted the duct in the front. That all fits in there. So what we'll do now is see if we can get these side parts on. 
which I've sort of test fitted just to see how they uh, how they go. Basically, what they do is this hole goes on here, and this fits up to there. And they all fit over the top of that as well. So fill that on top of the uh, this bit. And it's supposed to fit up to there. And as you can see, a bit of a gap. usual nothing lines up. Anyway, make that with me and I'll, uh, I'll work on that. Back in the next bit. Well that got the uh, intakes on eventually. So I didn't film it because basically it's taken forever and they don't fit and nothing seems to line up but apart from that everything was fine. I mean in theory the bottom of this is supposed to be the same size as this hole but you see there's a gap both sides and this is on straight so these can't be in the wrong place so unless you wedge things mysteriously open or wide or anything um, basically it doesn't fit so anyway I've got them stuck down as best I can everything else is lined up fine but uh, anyway I think I'm about to find something I could show you to fit so we've got the uh, I think it's a fuel tank that fits across the back here. So there's a notch there and here, which this goes in. Like so, and then the curved bits sit over there. And then this bit. So it's going to, I'm going to show you little no grooves there. Like that. So what I'll do is we'll get those two glued in. And uh, what we're looking for. fitted for the engine part so it will fit onto the bulkhead at this stage so what I'll do is let's let this all dry and then we'll use a bit of the engine oil just around the cap and uh, I'll do a bit of dripping down just to get a bit of interest in there um, and then I think that's possibly this part finished so we'll just pause it there for a sec and then we'll uh, come back and uh, do a bit of weathering Okay, so that's the uh, engine complete. On the whole, it's been uh, really good to build. So some of these uh, ductings and things at the back are a bit uh, bit tricky. Uh, as you see, I've put a bit of uh, so you do a bit of dripping on there, 
and some of the black. Where is it? Black. Some black pigment just around the ends of the exhaust, just for a bit of colouring. On both sides, and just a little bit inside as well, just to give it a bit of a not so clean look. So that's uh, that's, it. that's this engine part done. For me so far, definitely my favourite part of it, despite the uh, the fit issues. So uh, we'll call that uh, part uh, seven done. I think it is. Um, so as usual, pull on to emodels.co.uk, brilliant website. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, uh, press the notification bell so when any of us uh, put a build up, it'll come up. But uh, emodels.co.uk, that's the uh, website to go to. Okay, see you in the next part. Mm -hmm.